Thank you. Can we have the next question from the brother? Hallelujah. Uh, I can ask for some question with you before I thankful Dr. Uh, Tun Mathir because very nice uh, uh, opening the program and uh, also uh, my High Commission Pakistan is here and uh, also I will be respected. Uh, I am from Pakistan, Christian, my name is Yusuf Masi and uh, I want to talk with you Hindi and own language. Can English. No, you are both Hindi. Better. I can understand Hindi, but the oldest audience majority will not. There are very few Pakistanis and Indian here. So if you can speak English, because speak in English. I have a lot of questions. Ask one question which is the most important. But I want to ask uh, with our language, uh, easy for me and easy for you. Okay, you, you ask in Hindi and because I answer into English. Just now, uh, one sister asked you some question. You, you ask in Hindi, I will translate it in English. Yes, brother. Okay. My first question is that I am studying in Pakistan schools and I have studied everything in the world. Okay, there was a teacher named Kari Kramo Sahib. So, now I will give God to God. So, what did you say that all the Nabi Muhammad are the Nabi of Nur? Okay. On the other hand, you have seen a lot of programs. I have used your words as a word. We are not the Nabi of Nur. Okay. In the Bible, you will not get the Nabi of Nur. Okay. You have given the name. The other thing is, you can see the Jalali, which Nabi of Nur is the Jalali. My son. कोऑर्डिनेटर ने कहा कि सवाल दो या तीन सेंटेंसेस में करो उससे ज्यादा करेंगे तो स्पीच हो जाएगा आपका सवाल क्या सवाल कीजिए मैं जवाब दूंगा दो या तीन सेंटेंसेस में आप सवाल कीजिए और मैं भी आपकी तरफ बढ़ना चाहता हूं ना <laughs> तो आप क्या कीजिए हॉल हायर करो और पेपर में इश्तिहार दो क्या मैं तकरीर करने वाला हूं जो आने के आएंगा वो ही ना इस... तो आज आपकी तकरीर सुनने के लिए लोग ने तो ये सवाल जवाब का सेशन है आप सवाल पीछे दो या तीन सेंटेंसेज में बस आप ये बता दें इन दोनों नबियों में जलाली पदेश दोनों में किसकी थी कौन से दो नबी में से नबी मोहम्मद और यसु अल मसीह में द ब्रदर आज द क्वेश्चन क्या बिटवीन मोहम्मद सल्लम एंड बिटवीन जीजस कै स्पीस बी अपॉन हु वॉज मो जलाली कैन बी ट्रांसले इन टू जलाली का आपको ये बोलो हु इज बेटर नो ग्लोरी कह लें ग्लोरियस जलाली पदेश कह सकते हैं आप बेहतर नहीं आप दोनों में ये बताएं कि दोनों में से सबकी मुकदस दोनों में से मुकदस पदेश किसकी है वेदर आस्किंग क्वेश्चन दैट हु वॉज बॉर्न बेटर मुकदस पैदाइश मीन्स हु वॉज बॉर्न मोर प्योर ही इज अ क्रिश्चियन इज आस्किंग क्वेश्चन ट्राइंग टू लीड मी एंड दिस क्रिश्चियन मिशन इज नॉर्मली डू वॉट इज आस्किंग हु वॉज बॉर्न मोर प्योर इंडिकेटिंग That Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was born naturally. He had a mother and father. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, had a mother but no father. So normally Christian missionaries ask this question, which is beating around the bush and then asking that Prophet Muhammad had a mother and father. Prophet Jesus had a mother but no father. So who's greater? Who's greater? The reply to this is. Given in the Quran, in Surah Al Imran, chapter three, verse fifteen, and which says, "In the Masala Isa, in the Allahi ka Masala Adam, khalaqa min turab, summa kala lo kun fa yakun." The similitude of Jesus in the sight of Allah is the same as Adam, peace be upon him. He was created from dust and said, "Be and it was." If he wants to say that Jesus Christ is superior, he is God because he was born without a father. Then Adam, peace be upon him, is greater God. He had no mother and no father. No, 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 no. Adam ko Khuda ne banaya tha. Bhai sahab, apne sawal puche mera jawab suno abhi. Mera jawab khatam ne hua. Apko lecture dene ka to hall ayar ko istiyar do. Ye lecture ka time nahi, ye sawal jawab ka time hai. Ab mera jawab suniye. If they say that Jesus is God because he had got no father, then Adam, peace be upon him, is greater God according to the Bible and the Quran. Because there is no mother, no father. So the reason is that Almighty God is the Creator. He can create in different ways. Normal human being to born, you require mother and father. But Almighty God even can create without mother and father. That is Adam, peace be upon him. He can create with mother, without a father. That is Isa alayhi salam. With a man and without a female is Bibi Hawa. 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the creator. So just because Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, has no father, that does not make him God. If that is the case, then Adam, peace be upon him, is greater God with Christians will never agree. So this is what Quran says, when you talk with the people, non-Muslim, Ta'ala wila kalimatin sawa im bainakna bainakum. Come to common term as between us and you. So this is how Christian missionaries, they try and catch fish. They try and catch fish. They try and trap the Muslims by quoting from the Quran. And the Muslims who don't know comparative religion, they get trapped. If you hear my lecture, deceit in Christian evangelism. Deceit in Christian evangelism. How do they deceive the people with false things? And the trap is a full lecture of mine. That will give you how the Christian missionary try and catch fish. What we believe, we should not deceive anyone. We believe in haq. As I said in my talk, وَقُلْ جَعَلْ حَقْ وَزَاقَ الْبَاطِلْ إِنَّ الْبَاطِلَ قَانَ زَوْكَ When truth is hazard in falsehood, falsehood perishes. For falsehood is by its nature bound to perish. What Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, I want to tell you, brother, in the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14, I have many things to say unto you, but he cannot bear them now. For he, when the spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. He shall not speak of himself. All that he has shall he speak. So what we realize, your Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, spoke about the last and final messenger to come, and his name is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Uh, my name is Dr. Chong. Uh, is it wrong for a man who knows nothing about Islam to convert simply because he wants to marry a Muslim woman?